I'm actually gonna take the truck. Mike's gonna drive the RV. And because we got about 100 miles to the gas stop where we wanna get gas. Do you wanna follow or do you wanna be in front? I'll follow you, okay? Okay, head on up. Okay, sounds good. Today, somebody's actually sleeping in a tent. It's only like 30 degrees. Burr. Sun's just coming up. Okay, jacks are coming up. We have all the slides in already. And do a little kitten check. We know where Enzo is. I'll put a little light on the subject. We got Desi and Lucy. In there, right, babies? Yeah, I think that's just in her cubby hole. Are you gonna move, honey? Yeah, you gonna come on the bed? There's where your brother Rudy, Rudy already is. That might be a good spot. Yeah, we got everything in. All the Christmas decorations are secured. Uh, all the lights off. I have the Christmas tree wrapped in a, the uh, tablecloth. Those can stay up. He can stay there because he's not, he's not really, he doesn't really go anywhere. I tucked our brand new printer in between the rug, pillow, and then I'll probably have to put some sort of sticky things like this down to secure it from now on in. I'm actually gonna take the truck. Mike's gonna drive the RV. And because we got about a hundred miles to the gas stop where we want to get gas and we also want to get propane <sighs> The closest places is on route 10 because the little dinky places around here we'll never get into So Mike's on hooking the electric which she just finished doing And I'm gonna move the car back. We have to get the RV down off the blocks that are in the front and we have to stow them in the truck I have all my stuff here, ready to go. Oh boy, travel day. Now we're gonna load the wood back into the truck. We had extra wood out, which we didn't use. I gotta take the garbage to the dumpster. Gotta back the truck up so we can move the RV forward to get it off the blocks. And so it's gonna come with me. They're opening the back door so you can go jump in. <laughs> Here he comes. Okay, I gotta go dump the garbage. Mike is driving down and I'm sitting there waiting for him. Do you wanna follow or do you wanna be in front? I'll follow you, okay? Okay, head on up. Okay, sounds good. And here he goes. And so's with me. That's what the squeaking in the background is. It's another gorgeous day. Beautiful blue sky. The moon's right above us. Uh, we've been here long enough. We're a little tired. So we hiked all the all the trails. <laughs> we went all the places. Look at the dirty windshield. <laughs> oh yeah. I should probably put my sunglasses on. See, <laughs> I can't see so bright. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do these. There we go. Much, much better. Now I can actually see. 
eyes are starting to tear because it's so bloody. You know? What a gorgeous day. What a pretty day. All right. And we're now at the main office. It's actually 921, so we did not get out around 8, eight 9 o'clock that we wanted to. But that's because on this side of the mountain that we're on, the sun doesn't come up till like 9 30. So it's like burr. Burr. Y'all come back now. <laughs> that's cute.
This is the town of Balmora. It's right before Route 10. The Balmora State Park's here. And now we're getting on to Route 10. And now we're stopping for fuel at Fort Stockton, Texas. By not pulling the toad, we saved a little on the gas. So we made it with a little bit to spare. Make a fuel stop at the Flying J in Fort Stockton. It turns out they actually have RV lanes. How cool is that? Okay, we have no idea why that is on. Alrighty. Ah, Desi's looking around. Rosie's still in the crate. And are you in the crate? There she is. Rudy's right there. Oh, Pat just got sick. Oh. The propane thing is not working. So once again, we can't get propane. It isn't that fun. But at least this place has RV lines. Mike is hooking up the toad. So I don't have to drive anymore. And we're leaving the station. We have a full tank of gas, but no propane. What else is new? And going right back onto Route 10. It's easy off, easy on. Still a gorgeous day. Blue sky, not a cloud in it. It's a nice, easy run today. Oh, time for lunch. We found this little rest stop. Uh, actually says picnic area. Just outside of Fort Stockton, going eastbound on 10. So Mike took Enzo for a walk. Oh, we're gonna have lunch here. I think I saw Desi run out somewhere. Is Desi run inside? Yes, you did. Hi, sweetheart. Let me see your little face. And Rudy is giving me a dirty look. Dirty look. Oh, honey. Yeah. yeah I don't know where Patches went to. Oh, she's, she's back at her cubby hole. Can't really tell. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. We're probably going to eat in the, the RV. It's a lot warmer down here. And after we finished our early lunch, we're back on the road. We have our Garmin RV GPS that we navigate by, but I always do a little redundancy with Google Maps because sometimes Google Maps picks up accidents and detours that the Garmin doesn't seem to see. And after four hours of driving, we're arriving at South Milano River State Park. We're here for the evening, time to relax. We have reservations, I just have to go in and check in while Mike unhooks the toad. We know the site is level, so it's just so easy. <laughs> And I'm going down, this is a one-way road, and there's the camp host, and there's our site, and there I am. I gotta give Mike a little bit more room so he can back in. And then I gotta run back. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting my steps in for today. And we're in. Okay, we are back halfway home. Back at South Alano River State Park. It's another gorgeous day. The sun's going down, but it's still 71 degrees here. So it's a lot warmer than it was at Davis Mountains. Really pretty. Picnic table. I like this place. Ah, and there's Lucy in the window. Hi, Lucy. What are you doing in the window? 
Hi, sweetheart. Hi. I see you. <laughs> They're stretching the food, I see. He's finishing somebody's food. Yeah, Patch is finishing Desi's food. Desi was just finishing part of Patch's food, but now I see Rudy is finishing the rest. And Lucy's looking out the bunk bed. And we have a little hors d'oeuvres for New Year's Eve. We know we're going to go to bed early. We're pooped. Okay, it's our last travel day for a while. We're going home. And is already crying. That's okay. Uh, let's do a kit check, find out where all the kitties are. We just moved in all the slides. So the slides are all in. Everybody hopefully is in their proper spots. Let's just turn the whole lights on. We have Lucy, who's not sure she wants to be in there. I'm pretty sure Daisy's in there. Well, there he is. Hi, guys. And when he passes, Rudy's already sleeping. Let's see. Here we are, yep. Okay, we have the cord. It goes into the outlet that's run by the inverter. We have that on. So it's running our refrigerator freezer, which is, ooh, you can't see that. <laughs> which is under here. And we still have a whole bunch of the food in here. So we'll be coming home with that. All right, everything looks good. Refrigerator's on. Why are you whining? You have nothing to whine about. You got the good light. Don't believe me, huh? All right, might put the camera up. Put it in a new spot. And the back jacks are just coming up now. Mike's checking all the things, making sure they're okay. I'm gonna move the truck. Uh, and we're gonna hitch up out past the dump station. Oh boy. Actually, it looks really nice right now, but if you can tell by the truck, we have had frost last night. But it's supposed to get warmer, so I have shorts on. I'm optimistic. <laughs> and there he is, pulling out of our spot for the evening. I like this place. And the site's so nice and level. This is New Year's Day. I figured a lot of these people probably partied. But there was also a lot of people with kids. So. Now, I think, from what I can tell, is hunting season starts here. So for the next eight days, this campground is going to be closed. So it means everybody pretty much has to leave, I guess. Because I tried to book an extra day. I could spend two days here and go for a little hike or something, but guess what? <laughs> the whole thing's closed. Oh joy. Oh joy. Okay. So we're actually driving around to just past the dump station. We're gonna hook up there. Gives us lots of room. We're not in anybody's way. <laughs> so it is what it is. We're not gonna dump today. It's too freaking cold. Great place for an overnight. It's not too far off the highway. It's kind of like four or five miles off the highway. There's a pilot station that's not that's right here in Junction. So we're gonna get gas early in the morning before we have to fight for a pump. Because that's the only problem I think with having a gas one that I can really see is that uh, we have to we have to fight to get into the regular pumps. And if there's somebody sitting there doing who knows what? They could have just left their car at the pump. You're, you're pretty much screwed. You gotta wait. The nice thing about the truckers is that they usually are much more considerate as it's their job. Once they're finished pumping, they move forward. We got really used to that when we had the, the diesel truck and the dually for many, many years. I never had to deal with this sort of thing. Uh, maneuvering this beast into a regular gas station is like pain in the ass. And they 
Everybody's starting to walk their dogs. All that good stuff. Yeah. It's cold, but it's pretty. Okay, we're now just gonna turn the wheel and see if the wheels on the Colorado turn also. Okay, they're turning. Okay, we're on our way. This is the little town of Junction. Right there is the only food store in the place. And right down the road is the pilot. And look, these guys are actually getting in the car and going to park it by the store. What nice people. Okay, we're at the pilot. Enzo's crying. Oh, that was an easy stop. And we're on our way. And Route 10 is right here. You can't beat that. And we're on our way. Our only issue today is we've got to go through San Antonio, and we know it's under construction. Time to walk Enzo and an early lunch. We just stopped for a lunch break. It's 11 o'clock. I needed to walk Enzo. So we need to walk. Uh, it's a pretty wrist stop. It's right before Kersville. Eastbound on Route 10. And we have Desi already out. My honey, you looking out the window? You don't see anybody? No. no. So far, everything's running well. In the truck spot area. It says there's a dump station or something, so I don't know what Mike's thinking about that. Like, you know, Rudy's just decided to go underneath. Nice chair. I see you. I see you. Where do you think you're going? And where you can. Alright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have some lunch and we'll be on our way. We still have another couple hours. How many hours do we have? I have it on my phone. Two hours and 59 minutes. Okay, another three hours. So we really haven't done too much. We're driving for. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. Couple hours. Little munchkin. <laughs> yeah, he thinks who he is. Okay, we finished lunch. Right back onto Route 10, eastbound. Heading towards San Antonio, which we are not looking forward to. There were tons and tons of construction. I don't even want to get into it, so we're not. We just bypassed that whole thing. <laughs> Okay, we're finally off Route 10. We've taken our exit. We're heading towards Catspring, where our home base is. That's a pretty road. Not a lot of traffic on it. Easy of driving. We were so tired. <laughs> and of course, the last road we have to do is the dirt road. And here we go. Bingo. Happy New Year, everyone. In our next episode, we venture westward to Arizona. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see what we're up to next. Ring the notification bell to tune into our next video. Please leave a comment too. We hope we're giving you some great ideas of places to explore. Have a great one.